Hi, this is Scrappy Lou here with another My Child Doll Restoration Workshop. This is an advanced level. This is for people that have, um, you know, taken a few heads off and um, has got a haircut victim and have decided to actually do a full reroute on their doll. Um, so um, this is more advanced. So the first things you need to do is be able to remove a head. Um, you've got to be able to. Um, unplug a head and what we've done is we've basically taken her head off we have cut away all the broken plugs which she was pretty much chopped all over so we totally removed it unplugged them all with the there was still like skin over the top then we've removed the skin and realized that there is a giant crack now this is to repair the crack because if I was to reroute this her head would collapse while I'm rerouting so to it. Before I ever even attempt rerouting, I need to repair her head. There's been a few different types of glues tried. Um, the one that most of the collectors that I know have kind of said is a never fail is using PVC pipe cement. Um, you can either buy the two part one, which has actually got um, a primer first, so you actually put primer over the area that you're going to paint uh, to seal and let it let that go tacky or something like that and then you put the glue over and then um, seal it um, I'm not using one that needs a primer today because they're not gonna um, they're not pipes that have water pressure so the one that you don't need um, the one that you don't need the primer is perfectly fine um, but as I said if you can't purchase the one that doesn't need primer um, the one with primer is perfectly fine you just got to remember to buy the two parts otherwise your doll head won't glue together um, so basically we have our head we have a crack I have a cheap you know um, 20 cent cheap uh, paintbrush and it's just basically what I'm going to be doing is putting the glue down the crack as also in some of the weak spots there's a few spots where there's quite a lot of holes so I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue in there just to reinforce them so they don't become a crack um, and other than that that's just basically it you've got to make sure it just holds together and um, let it dry for 24 hours and then you can put her scale cap back on and start rerouting so this is just that step this is the first time I've bought this stuff and I actually realized that it actually comes with a brush in the lid so that's very handy but I still will probably use my little brush for like the little touch-up bits that I previously talked about now please make sure you don't get any of this glue onto your fabric because it's not gonna look good being a very blue blotchy girl doll so I would actually wipe off the excess first and just do little bits at a time and just build up the layers um, rather than just slopping it all on so first what I'm gonna do is just kind of go down the crack but then I'm gonna actually go in between and actually under the crack as well um, so just it's easy as that really so what I'll do is I'll squeeze open the head and then I'll stick some glue on the inner, inner sides as well as I'm going along so I've actually gone on the inside um, if you can kind of see in there um, with my long brush and just kind of put a little bit of a line on the inside that you know it's not necessarily have to do it but I thought that actually would just make me feel a little bit more secure that the glue is going to hold and and bond really good because it's got that little layer on the inside and then yeah just putting it kind of around the crack and as I said in those little weak parts just kind of using it as a bit of a filler and then I'm going to hold it together and let it kind of join well and then hopefully we'll be able to let it dry for 24 hours I can um, if I find that the gaps gonna like keep going open I'll just wrap some um, tape around the head to kind of hold it together so I'll show you that if it's not holding so see how we go so here I am playing the waiting game just holding it together a little bit I forgot to also say it's best to do this like outside or a well ventilated area because this stuff smells 
and it's probably not good for you to inhale <laughs> it's got actually warning labels on it so don't get high on this stuff um, <laughs> so yeah if you can see I've just gone all the way along the crack and just kind of holding it in place until it actually kind of bonds and um, yeah um, this should hopefully do the job um, so I've also got her sitting in a bowl um, that just kind of holds her head in place because I'm going to leave her out here obviously to dry so um, that will just help with that kind of um, thing so she doesn't go rolling away blowing away in the wind or anything like that so that's it all done just waiting for it now to dry for 24 hours um, so that's how we fix a crack in a doll's head thank you for watching this is Scrubby Lou